This declassified document proves that we live in a virtual reality simulation. This document was published in 1983 and is currently available on the CIA website. The goal of the paper was to analyze and assess the gateway process or gateway experience for validity. The gateway experience is dedicated to developing, exploring, and applying expanded states of awareness. Some of the methods used to achieve these states are meditation, remote viewing, and out-of-body experiences. The Gateway Experience was founded by the Monroe Institute, whose founder, Bob Monroe, was a pioneer in consciousness research, publishing three popular books on the subject. The study describes the Gateway Experience as a training system designed to bring enhanced strength, focus, and coherence to the amplitude and frequency of brainwave output between the left and right hemisphere so as to alter consciousness, moving it outside the physical sphere so as to ultimately escape even the restrictions of time and space. The participant then gains access to the various levels of intuitive knowledge which the universe offers. They use a process called hemisync to achieve this state. They describe the process. The objective is to relax the left hemisphere of the brain, place the physical body in a virtual sleep state, and bring the left and right hemispheres into coherence under conditions designed to promote the production of ever higher amplitude and frequency of brainwave output. At this point of the document, the author takes a step back and describes how consciousness is non-physical in nature. The first point which needs to be made is that the two terms, matter and energy, tend to be misleading if taken to indicate two distinctly different states of existence in the physical world that we know it. Indeed, if the term matter is taken to mean solid substance as opposed to energy, which is understood to mean force of some sort, then the use of the former is entirely misleading. Then the document basically drops the bombshell of the report indicating that solid matter, in the strict construction of the term, simply does not exist. The only way that solid matter, or our physical reality, could not actually exist is if we were inside a virtual reality simulation, which is the case. The document uses the concept of a hologram to describe our physical reality. They use an example where you would have a bowl filled with water, drop two pebbles into the bowl, and flash freeze the top of the water. The surface of the water would then contain all of the data or information of everything within the bowl. Then by exposing the surface ice to a powerful, coherent source of light, such as a laser, all of the 3D information could then be extrapolated from the ice. The report then goes on to describe how if you drop the ice on the floor and it broke into many different pieces, each individual piece still contains the data of the whole, demonstrating the interconnectedness of everything. The report then describes the consciousness matrix, stating the universe is composed of interacting energy fields, some at rest and some in motion. It is, in and of itself, one gigantic hologram of unbelievable complexity. Then the report subtly invokes a higher power, speaking of the Absolute, capitalizing the A. Here it describes the Absolute as something separate and beyond our consciousness. Our consciousness, therefore, is that differentiated aspect of the universal consciousness which resides within the Absolute. Then it goes on to state, since consciousness exists quite apart from and outside of reality, beyond the bounds of space-time, it, like the Absolute, has neither beginning nor end. The report finally concludes that the Gateway experience is plausible in terms of its essential objectives. So in a nutshell, the holographic model is used to describe how non-physical things can occur in a physical reality. When we take a closer look at the holographic universe model, we see that it is a simulation model with many built-in assumptions. This article describes the holographic universe is one where all of the information that makes up our 3D reality plus time is contained in a 2D surface on its boundaries. Then the article goes on to use the example of watching a 3D film in a cinema. We see the picture as having height, width, and crucially depth, when in fact it all originates from a flat 2D screen. The difference in our 3D universe 
is that we can touch objects and the projection is real from our perspective. It's unclear how the holographic universe model or a hologram can account for the five senses that we experience since a hologram is essentially a projection of light. The holographic universe model does also not account for the source of the laser or other coherent light source which is enabling the process to occur. This overarching power or force is referred to as the absolute in the declassified document. A different and more straightforward approach to understanding how all of this is possible is Tom Campbell's big toe or big theory of everything. Tom Campbell was one of the physicists to help establish the Monroe Institute in which the gateway process was founded. Tom Campbell's simulation or virtual reality model basically demonstrates how we are all players in a virtual reality simulation, similar to a video game like The Sims or any other virtual reality video game, where the players of the game don't actually reside within the game or simulation itself. The players actually live outside of the game. Big thanks to anyone who's purchased my book, which outlines all of this, and I thank you for watching.